Hello, hello, hello. So today we're just going to go over lesson number two. Let me tell you, this lesson right here, oh my goodness, this is not my favorite thing to talk about. However, I felt pressed to just come on and share because my week, I'm like, I don't know what your week has been like, but my week has been full of some things that got into my heart this week. Um, Yeah, my heart. Um, And so I wanted to come on and share with each of you. Uh, (laughs) It's a little embarrassing, a lot embarrassing. Let me me say that. Um, So I'll just start off before I put up the full topic and tell you about my week. So I had a week full of... um, some disappointments, some business things didn't go the way I wanted them to do, go or expected them to go. Some travel got canceled at the last minute, so that got under my skin. And then I was asked to um, just continue to do Lillian's lessons and um, to do the love letters. And I was like, self, and myself was like, hmm. And I was like, I don't really want to do that. I don't want to do that. Like, I, I absolutely don't want to do it. And I just could not let go of the feeling that I needed to come on and just give this um, bit of these nuggets to you guys because um, I'm living this thing out called life. <laughs> and so these are my lessons that I'm learning the very hard way, unfortunately for me, right? So the lesson this week is matters of the heart. And I'm calling these things the great destroyers, matters of the heart, the great destroyers. And so I have some things listed like rebellion and disappointment and pride and guilt and shame and unforgiveness and all of these other ones. And you can see them scrolling across the bottom of the screen. I won't take them away right away. And so this week I had some rebellion get in there. And I mean, I was literally kicking and screaming on the couch because I did not want to do that lesson last week. I did not want to record Lillian's lessons. And I did not want to do the love letters because I'm a private person, right? (laughs) And so that's why last week I said, sometimes your preferences don't always look the way you want them to look. And so my preference is to just be incognito. My preference is to just be in the quiet. But I recognize that Sometimes being in community with others, it simply means that if I can share my story with you and tell you my struggles, you will know that you are not in this world alone and you are not the only one that has faced heartache and disappointment and even maybe some rebellion, right? And so rebellion isn't like against your parents. Sometimes it's rebellion against yourself, like rebellion against walking in your true identity. And so for me, this week has been eye-opening. Like, you have no idea how eye-opening it has been. Even in some self-reflection time, because my business plans got canceled, I had nothing but free time. And so I had an opportunity to sit with myself. I had an opportunity to say, self, what's going on in there? What, what What's going on with you? Like, and I was feeling my feelings and... Myself said, you got some unresolved things in here. You need to deal with Lillian. You really need to assess whether or not you're walking out your 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 your, your true walk. If you're really being authentic with yourself and those around you. And I uncovered just by sitting with myself and examining myself, I uncovered some unforgiveness. Well, I didn't think I had any. It was really um, a shock because it was something that happened years ago. And my feelings was hurt. And I didn't realize that I had not let go of that thing. I told my, my mind told me, oh, that's nothing. But my heart is saying, no, that's still something. And so I'm going to encourage you that as you listen to me um, share these nuggets of wisdom on how to reconcile what you got going on on the inside, just trust and believe. This is just not me talking because I like to talk because honestly, it is not my favorite thing to be on camera. It is not my favorite thing to be in the public. It is my favorite thing 
to just sit with my fuzzy socks and my sweatpants on and just be. And if you just happen to come over, let's have some tea. Let's let's laugh and joke. But ultimately, my my preference is really just quiet time. My preference is intimate settings with the people at Caterbell. It's not doing a Facebook Live or recording a video and posting it. It's really not. And so that's an uncomfortable space for me. And so I'm inviting you in to just really get to know me. No, I'm not perfect. I might smile, but just rest and rest assured that I have my bumps and bruises. I have some um, some hard knocks over here. Lessons learned that, oh, wait, like if you had to switch places with me, you you, you might want to say, oh, I, I don't really want what she got going on. And so <laughs> I'm laughing, not because it's funny, ha ha. I'm laughing because a lot of the lessons I've learned, I chose to learn them the hard way. And so this week, what did I do? You're saying, okay, you had some disappointments. You had, um, you know, some revelations that you have some unforgiveness in your heart that you forgot about, or I didn't even realize it was still a problem because you say I forgave them, but in essence, your heart is still struggling with that thing. This week, I was faced with uh, stepping into places and spaces that I really would prefer not to go, right? And so when I'm looking at all of these things, I was asking myself, what lesson can I share with you this week? What lesson can I um, impart to you through my own pain, right? My own resistance, my own hard knocks. And really, it is about recognizing when you allow disappointment to get into your heart. Because that thing got into my heart so bad where I was like... I ain't doing no more lessons. I ain't doing no more nothing. I don't care anything about anything because I was in my feelings so hard. And I'm sure a lot of you can kind of resonate with the fact that sometimes your feelings just hit you so hard, you want to sit with them for a while. And so I've decided to uh, help you out here. It's okay to feel your feelings. It's all right to feel your feelings. It's just not all right to stay there, okay? Okay. And so what I wanted to share with you is a four steps to help you avoid um, or pull yourself out of the pit of pain and anguish and despair as it relates to the things that we allow to get into our hearts, right? And so when we're thinking about what gets into my heart and how can I resolve that thing? Well, I said this week I had some disappointments, right? And so I really had to sit with that thing. And so step number one, what does step number one look like? Well, I want you to feel exactly what you're feeling and I want you to validate it. You like feel it and validate it. Lillian, you tripping. No, really. Feel it and validate it. You do not need external validation to feel your feelings because they are yours, absolutely yours. And no outsider can tell you when to stop feeling your feelings, right? No outsider can validate your feelings the way you can. And so what does that look like? Okay, so I was disappointed this week. (sighs) Yeah, I kicked and and I hemmed and hawed and I held on to it for a minute. But then, then I had to say, okay, Lillian, rightfully so. You plan this thing out. You anticipated that your your business dealings would go a certain way. You anticipated that this trip was going to be a refreshing trip. um, And it was also going to allow you to capitalize on the things that you had in motion. They all went flop. (laughs) They went flop. And so, yeah, I was bummed out. Absolutely bummed out. But as I sat there and I said, you know, Lillian, you're right. It sucks. Um, It didn't work out. It didn't work out. And so you got a choice. You can sit here and feel sorry for yourself. Or you can say, all right, what I feel is valid. Now, what am I going to do about it? Right? So I validated. I said, girl, you're justified. However, you're not going to stay here. What are we going to do next? And so the next step is really my favorite one. Ask yourself and listen. Lillian, what am I asking myself? I'm glad you asked. So ask yourself, what am I feeling and why am I feeling it so deeply? Yeah, I I got you talking to yourself. It's important. 
right? No outside source can help you with this because they're your emotions. So what am I feeling and why am I feeling it so deeply? And as you sit there and listen to yourself, your internal dialogue, right? That thing that's stuck in your heart, it will tell you, man, you know, we really wanted this or we really wanted that. And so that's when you go deeper and not only ask yourself and listen, but the next question is, okay, what do I need in this moment? What do I need to give myself in this moment? And the beautiful thing about yourself is your internal world will absolutely tell you what you need. And you know, it's going to surprise you. It's not going to be call a friend. It's not going to be go to the movies. It's going to be, you know, a bubble bath would be really nice to just, just, just relax this disappointment off of me. It might be, hey, I want some ice cream. It might be, hey, you know, maybe I just need to watch something funny or maybe I need to read a book. But your internal wisdom will tell you exactly what you need in the moment that you're feeling what you're feeling. You just got to listen. Okay. All right. Are you going to be a good listener? Please be a good listener because yourself is ready and willing to talk to you. If you allow that internal wisdom to surface and you to tell you what you need in this moment. Remember, step one is about feeling it and validating it. It's not about feeling it and being vengeful. It's not about feeling it and lashing out. It is about feeling and validating your feelings. Two, ask yourself for that internal wisdom, right? And make sure you're listening. You have two ears and one mouth for a reason. Two ears to listen and one mouth to speak when necessary. And sometimes your mouth just needs to be closed so you can hear what your internal world needs you to hear, okay? That still small voice that I talked about last week. Make sure you are honoring it because it is part of the healing process, okay? All right, so step number three, examine and learn. What do I mean by this? I'm glad you asked. Examine the information that you just got and learn from it. Examine the disappointment. Examine the situation that caused you to be mistrustful. Examine it all, the betrayal, the shame, the guilt, whatever it is that's in your heart, examine it and figure out why the roots on that thing is so deep. Because when the roots are really, really deep on what you're feeling, it means that you have some unresolved stuff in there. Okay. And so, no, I'm not your therapist. I'm not telling you that I'm going to sit here and, and coach you and be your therapist through this process. I'm giving you some pointers that help me on a daily basis to not get stuck in it. Right. And so examining and learning is the key here. What just tripped me up? Why am I feeling this particular emotion so deeply? Examining it and learning your triggers right? What triggers you into the deepest deeps and the darkest depths? You have to learn it because the roots are there. If you're feeling something extremely deeply, it means you felt it before. You have to look at all of the things that are contributing, all of the unpacked luggage that is contributing to the depth of what you're feeling, okay? This is an important step. You cannot skip it. You cannot skip it. You cannot skip it. Promise me, promise me, promise me that you will examine and learn from whatever it is that's in your heart in this moment. Okay? Promise? Okay, good. Step number four, take action and lead yourself forward. What do I mean by take action? I'm glad you asked me. Take action means you get to say, all right, Lillian, right? All right, self, it's time to get up out of this. We cannot stay here. This does not allow us to move forward. What do we need to give ourselves? Give it to yourself. And then say, okay, what's next? Why is that important? You have to have an action step to help you come out of what you're feeling, right? Sometimes people take those action steps on the negative side. And they say, oh, I'm going to give this person back. Or I'm going to do this to this person. Or I'm not going to blank this. Or whatever it might be. But instead of choosing things that are just going to make your hole deeper, figure out what you need in this moment. Give it to yourself and lead yourself forward. Resolve to be a person of reconciliation, a person of peace, a person of forward momentum. 
Okay. So I had to pick myself up this week. Yeah, I was disappointed. I had to come on here and, and share this nugget with you because I don't want you to end up getting stuck like I almost did. I have some tools in my kit that helps me realize, snap out of it, young lady, you cannot stay here. And so I'm going to encourage you, if you take these four steps, you will do amazing, amazing, amazing at not allowing the great destroyers to get into your heart and stay there. I didn't say you won't ever feel it, but I said they won't come and take up residence in your heart, right? You have the power within you to resolve every emotion that comes to you. You have to decide how you're going to resolve it and then do it. It is possible. We all have emotions, right? We have every single one of the emotions. You're not broken because you feel them intensely. You may just not have learned how to manage them. And so I'm going to encourage you to really, really, really chew on what I share with you today. Because when you decide, no, I'm going to let that stay in my heart, that is a form of self-abandonment. Yes, abandonment is one of them when someone leaves you. But self-abandonment is when you leave yourself. And so I'm going to encourage you to not leave yourself in the darkest depths. Do not leave yourself in despair. Do not leave yourself in pain. Do not leave yourself in anguish because you have the power within you if you so choose. Again, choice, right? You get to choose. And so I'm hoping you'll choose you. Choose to pull yourself up. Choose not to stay there. Choose to resolve it internally. Choose to heal. Choose to be be considerate of yourself, right? And so this reflective process, what am I feeling, right? And what can I do to move forward? Those things will propel you out of any situation, out of any one of those great destroyers that might come up because life can be harsh, right? We've all experienced it, but we don't have to stay in it. We can always um, find our smile again. We can find our laughter again, and we can recognize when... We're being a brat. I was being a brat this week. And so I can say honestly to all of you, don't be a brat <laughs> like me, kicking on the couch, a whole tantrum and grunting on the couch because you didn't like the outcome of something. Recognize that that is not the end, that the failure is not final, nor is it fatal, that disappointment comes and it goes that you have the power within you to reconcile it all and know that this is not your end. This is a moment in time, a moment in time, a moment in time, and it does not define where you're headed. And so if you like what you are hearing me say from week to week, definitely drop a comment in the comment box. I've already created a Facebook group for Lillian's Lessons if we want to have a deeper discussion on any of the topics, or you need me to explain a little bit more on the different steps or something that you might be getting stuck at. Again, I'm not your therapist. I'm not your coach, but I am your friend, and I am willing to use my hard-learned lessons to help you avoid them. And so again, It's not my favorite thing to do, but I am willing to be here every week to share my bumps and bruises, my learning lessons that you may thrive from my mishaps. Maybe get a laughter or two, maybe learn how to kick and scream, but definitely learn how to come up out of the darkness of what you're feeling at any given moment. So if you want to stay updated, um, the Facebook group information, that's what this is for. Um, And then let's stay connected. So if you want to figure out what Lillian's up to, I have a website, www.lillianljackson.com. You can go on there and look at the stuff that I have going on. But you can also follow me on social media. All of my tags are on my website. So make sure you go there and connect with me um, on all of the different platforms. I am learning social media. So there will be some faux pas. There will be some mishaps. But trust and believe I will do my best. Um, to get you the information as it is um, laid on my heart because I want to be a blessing to you with all of my learnings, all of my um, experiences. 
and all of the wisdom that I've obtained through the years. So I hope this has been a blessing to you, an important learning lesson, and above all else, maybe you got a chuckle to recognize that I'm not perfect. And I'm, I hope, I hope that you don't ever get that from me. I am a human being just like you. I put my pants on one leg at a time, depending if I'm on a rush. Um, but know that um, I hope to learn from your great lessons at some point. So join the discussion. I would absolutely love to hear about how you overcome obstacles, situations, or whatever it is that might be stumbling you. Trust and believe this life is best lived in connection with others. And so I cannot wait until next week. I hope and pray that the lesson will be good. I hope that this was something that you could learn and glean from. And more than importantly, thank you for spending time with me. Thank you for watching the video. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome, awesome week.